I know there's going to be some people who are getting their panties in a bunch when I say this, but I actually have enjoyed the Phoenix Suns offseason, and they are smart for moving on from DeAndre Aiden. First off, Jock Lindell, Dario Sarge, and Bismack Biombo. We're going to see this incredible center rotation where Dario Saric is going to be kind of like the facilitating point center for them. Jock Lindell can do a little bit of point center, but he's going to be more the floor spacing, drop coverage kind of all around big man. And then Bismack Biombo will be the rebounding, rim running, shot blocking big man. So I kind of like that. Dario Saric, offensive big man. Jock Lindell, guy who's kind of in between. Bismack Biombo, rebounding and defense big man so they literally have specialists and they have these three big men that they're going to run by committee which i personally think is genius then they go out into free agency not only do they get the devin booker extension they bring in damian lee who i think underrated and they you remember what happened with landry shamet and also they got themselves josh akogi which is smart josh akogi he had some moments last year he kind of got taken out the lineup but all in all i think he's really proven himself as a guy who's willing to do all the dirty work to help his team win. And this is a team that Chris Paul, Mikhail Bridges, Devin Booker, and Landry Shamit, they paid him already. And well, but Damian Lee's a guy who's a shooting guard, but he actually could be their third string point guard behind Cameron Payne. So that's kind of a multifaceted guy. While Josh Kogi, Tory Craig's getting up there in age. So why not have Josh Okogie be an insurance policy for Tory Craig to play the Tory Craig role and have Tory Craig mentor Josh Okogie? So then next offseason, you can extend him because Tory Craig's already 31 going on 32. Josh Okogie's barely in his mid-20s. So right there, you have a guy who Josh Okogie could do a decent job replacing. And I think just for the same amount of money next year. So for me, I think that's smart as all hell. And Josh Kogi, 6'4", with a 7-foot wingspan. And I know you're going to be like, well, Tory Creek's 6'7", 221 pounds. Josh Kogi's 6'4", 214 pounds. He's fine. Okay? And I'm, I'm very much liking their philosophy, what they're trying to go with here. And that's what I'm saying. Like I said, the center rotation, the three guys, Landell, Saric, and Bismack Biombo. Power forward, I'm assuming if they keep Jay Crowder, Jay Crowder, Cam Johnson, Tory Craig. And you can also probably run a little Sarich at power forward if you wanted to. Small forward, Mikhail Bridges. They're probably going to run Tory Craig, I guess, backing up there. Or if they really care to, they can run as well Josh Okoge there. And I guess you could say Cam Johnson will also be a backup there. And then shooting guard and point guard is obviously Devin Booker and Chris Paul with Cameron Payne, Landry Shaman, Damian Lee, and I guess... You could also say Josh Kogi could back up there, the multifaceted guy. So for me, I, I like what they've done so far, the Phoenix Suns, because these are moves that they've needed to make. Okay. And look, hey, they're also, they have Renz Blyenberg, who's currently actually on their summer league team. And if he does well, he's a point forward. He can come in and be a power forward, small forward for them. So that's interesting. And they have no draft picks or anything like that. Okay. They have. They traded those away. And right now, for me, I think they're they're doing a fine job in assessing talent. Okay. For me, I think it's interesting as a whole. Also, isn't it wild to think about none of their... Listen to these older picks since Devin Booker. Tyler Ewis. Scout, also Tyler Ewis. I hope you recover fine. Scal Labissiere. Georgius public giannis they've traded a lot of these picks like the sky liberis liberis and georgius papa got papa giannis those were traded to sacramento dragon bender alec peters devon reed josh jackson george king ellie okobu zaire smith who was traded to the sixers deandre aden casey okopala who was traded to miami jerry culver who was traded to minnesota jalen smith duran sharp who was traded to the Nets. and i'm not like I think this is just incredible how they've been able to what I wanted to point that out is just to, to point out how good at developing talent they have been since coming into the NBA. And that's what I find really impressive that this team has just been so good at just even without their draft picks, just assessing players as reclamation projects or just the, the last since Chris Paul came over they've really really put it together which i found incredibly interesting 
So I want to hear your thoughts down below. What did you guys think of this team? And who was your, yeah, like who was your favorite player? Or what's your favorite? Okay. Because for me, I think it's definitely interesting as all hell. Also, I completely, isn't it crazy to think about if they hadn't traded Papa Giannis? If they hadn't traded for the draft rights of Marquis Chris, they could have had Bogdan Bogdanovich. That's wild. 